Hey, how goes it, Ken Bozak? Here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories from the Bahamas. Check it out. So right now I'm in the Bahamas. I just went snorkeling. We swam with dolphins. And uh, right now I'm actually getting a hand carved knife with uh, Bitcoin in it right there. <laughs> so he wanted to know a little bit about Bitcoin while he was uh, carving that in. So while you're doing that, I'm just going to rant. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So Bitcoin is a peer to peer money system, a value transfer system. It's a decentralized currency. So basically like PayPal, but if PayPal used its own money instead of like, you know, government dollars yeah. and it's decentralized. So unlike PayPal, where there's one company, one CEO, there's one place that the government can go and shut that down. There's nobody that that can happen with, with Bitcoin. Everybody's involved. There is no CEO. There's no owner. There's no company. It's decentralized, meaning it's everywhere. Like uh, BitTorrent, if you ever downloaded illegal movies or music, yeah. it's the exact same way. They can't stop that. They can't stop Bitcoin. Nice. And it's deflationary. So the, the, the less of it that's available in the supply, the more your little supply is worth over time. So imagine buying real estate on this island. You know how the real estate is very limited. Yeah. Well, if people keep buying up the real estate to build on top of it, that little piece of land that you bought after a while because it's the only thing left, it's worth a lot of money. You only paid a little bit for it. It's sort of like Bitcoin, except this technology is very unused. Um, it's an open ledger technology. Hey, look, I got, a, I got an eavesdropper. You know what Bitcoin is? Yeah, yeah man, that's what got me here. So I've been using Bitcoin for daily money for the past two years. I got it to use Expedia to get to the Bahamas. I've been using it on the ship with my Visa card linked to my Bitcoin account. I'm um, hoping to convince him to let me give him some Bitcoin for this right here. If you have a smartphone, it'll take you two minutes to download a Bitcoin app. I can send you some Bitcoin and you can watch that money grow. And you can send that money to anybody around the world. Nobody can stop you. Nobody to ask permission. If you have a friend or family in America or anywhere in China, you can send them money. Nobody can stop it. It just happens. And unlike holding dollars, you know, like US dollars and it goes down in value, which means you have to spend more money to get the same shit every day. Bitcoin actually goes up in value. So you actually spend less Bitcoin every day to get the same shit. So imagine you and your coworker you work, you get the same amount of money in US dollar that you work, but you put your money in Bitcoin, he holds his money in the bank account. His money goes down in the bank, your money goes up in Bitcoin. You can buy 20%, maybe 40% more every month than your coworker can and you make the same amount of money. You just store your money in a better value system. Nice. So do you know any shops or anybody on the Bahamas that accepts Bitcoin yet? Nobody does. There's a lot of interest. People are very interested. I heard that you guys have a you know thing with a new cell phone provider from BTC, which is funny because that's Bitcoin BTC, um, Bahamas Telecom Communications, right? Yeah. And now you just got the new one called Alive. That, that's what I'm on. You're on Alive. Yeah. See, so now you're on the up and up. That's the newest one. So why do you use that? Because you can walk in, get the minutes digital. Everything's digital. Yeah. And my, okay. My phone that's Bitcoin, man. And, Everything's digital. And my phone is unlimited. So your phone is your bank. This phone right here, this is my bank. I don't have a bank with Wells Fargo. This phone right here, that's my bank. All my money right here on my phone. Nice. Nobody else can get access. Somebody takes my phone and runs, it's locked. Has a password, they can't get to my money. So if you owe somebody money, they can take it out of the bank, right? Yeah. They can't take the Bitcoin out of my Bitcoin wallet. So if I owe the government money, they can't seize my money. They can't just say, hey, you owe me and take it. It's all mine, it stays mine. Nice. I got into Bitcoin one year ago and it was at $700 a one year ago. Right now it's about $17,000 each. So I made quite a bit holding it for one year. Shit. I think it's worth you to download that app and let me pay you for this in some Bitcoin. The ironicness of you, <laughs> the ironicness of you carving Bitcoin into that knife and, and not accepting Bitcoin for that would be pretty ironic in a year when it goes up 10x. So that $20 could turn into uh, 2000 really quick. <laughs> I have a lot of people on the island been asking about Bitcoin, so I figured I'd just stop and talk about it. And I'm really hopeful this guy right here is going to download that app. And if you do, I will post your Bitcoin wallet address on my YouTube channel. And hopefully my viewers here will give the, you know, one of the first guys in the Bahamas to accept Bitcoin. 
a little tip to show their appreciation and he can help show his friends in the Bahamas how to accept Bitcoin for what they do. Now, do you accept Visa? Bitcoin. Look at that. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Now, do you accept Visa? Uh, no, you, you personally accept Visa? Yeah. Yeah? How much do they charge you every time somebody uses it? Three bucks. Three bucks? Yeah. Is it worth it? Can't say that now. Right. Right. Bitcoin. Bitcoin can change that though for the whole business. Whatever you pay Visa, it's ripping you off. The only reason you do it is because it works. But there's something better. Visa is Blockbuster. Bitcoin is Netflix. I like the way you work. Yes. All right. So that's Bitcoin talk in the Bahamas. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Flick the alert bell right next to subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I make a video. Hopefully I can get this man here to accept some Bitcoin. And everybody, I will buy a little something from every shop that accepts Bitcoin. So uh, Bitcoin in the Bahamas, 2017. Have a day.